Hi, I'm Justin Andrews with the CAD program. I'm Rex Thornock with the CAD program. We're going to show you about some of our CAD stuff, making these for mill, and we can do that 3D print all right. So we're going to uh, create what's called a flange. Now this part was a part that is created by the students. It's actually quite large and has multiple holes, holes, but the student has to then manipulate it and change it down to something a little simpler uh, so that we can print that. So this is kind of the stages that, that, that go on. This is the part that's created through, uh, through the different stages. Um, they, they create a sketch. You can see the orange sketch that they started with. They went to a different extrusion. Um, and then continued modeling until they came up with the shape these are tapped holes, and this is what the end product is going to be. Okay, so we have to have this piece securely fastened into the mill, and so this is the actual mill piece that's made out of steel that holds typical steel pieces, but we're only holding the plastic piece. So this is a similar piece that someone had to design. It has to match the holes have to match up, um, and so they have to design this soft jaw to hold this specific piece. Okay, so this is the mill, and it shows the model that was created in here. There's a slight image of the jaw. That need, this is the existing metal jaws, and so the students get in here, and then they sit down and design a jaw based on these hole sizes and the shape of the piece that will, a jaw that will clamp down and hold this securely as the mill goes in here and begins cutting and accomplishing this, this mill cut. Here we have the part being printed, the gasket. That piece that you saw designed in the software. And so this is the, the setup and the printing process. All right, so the students just printed out their part and those jaws they designed. So you can see those in here. The jaw is mounted in here in the black, and the part that we're going to mill is the yellow. You saw that on the print. We've got the jaws already printed, ready to go. So, so now we're gonna let it run and see what happens. If the jaws hold on, they were successful. like they were successful, so they designed that part and the tooling to hold it, and it did its job. That was an awesome video. Um, it gives you a good idea of what Rex and his, his program are all about. Um, they make things, they create things. They are oftentimes the beginning of awesome things that, that we use every day in our life. And Rex, I was thinking maybe you could say a few things about your program and let them know the different specializations that they can take while they're in a CAD program. Of course, the, um, the option is for you while you're in high school, you can come and take our program as a junior and a senior. The optimal position would be to graduate with your certificate and getting that opportunity to then get, get employed. Uh, the areas that we work in are architecture, structural, civil, uh, manufacturing, additive manufacturing, and interior design. So we train, you can get a certificate in each one of those six programs. Um, and so we, you have to choose a focus. Um, to start out, we, I can show you when you when you when you create something or you need something to be built, you have to have drawings. And, this, and so we have a lot of cool things here, but the main port main part here is creating drawings. And this is a drawing set that uh, that someone created for a lamp assembly. And all these things. Are, this is what we basically do is is create this drawing. And the drawing has information on on. Um, what needs, to be, what needs to be done and, and created. Boy, you can't see that very good. All right, there, that's the drawing. So, so we have drawing. This is a manufacturing drawing. This is a architectural drawing. So these things are 
were needed in order to build this, these different features to more drawings. So this is the main thing. This is what we're we're here to make. But in the process, we can we we train and do some cool things on the manufacturing side. Uh, the designs are made, uh, the drawings are created. Then we can take that information and and for prototypes we can send that to the printer. So we have this 3D printed. Uh, prototype here, full color. If you look at that real close, you can see there's some shapes on there, but those gears and cogs, the gears are made out of simulated, simulated to make, to look like wood. Uh, that outer gear is supposed to look like cork. Um, this under part here has a carpet uh, material assigned to it, so we can make basically anything it to look like. This actually is a rotating part and it works and it came out of the printer that way. That's a that's a, that's a project uh, that's good. Um, on the architecture side, the structural side, this is a um, a wall section. The students are required to create the wall section shows everything that's happening inside the wall, inside the floors, on the on the ceiling and the roof, uh, and the foundation. And it's just a good example of helping you to understand what takes place in a building. Uh, the uh, these are these things are helping students dramatically. When we talked with these these com this company that gave us this this 3D printer, they were shocked at how much we were using a 3D printer as a teaching tool. When students don't understand things and can't see things, can't picture things. Then we can show them to the, show that to them the the, the uh, issues and the struggles that they're having. We show them how they work, and then they're getting this as we as we use this these three D models as teaching tools. Um, projects that you can complete. Uh, this is a this is a, a project that a, a student completed, and these are just descriptions of what a house looks like. We can 3D print, add carpet, add flooring, add all kinds of stuff and materials, the furniture, desks. We can show the floor systems. That's what you're seeing right here. You can show the, we can show the roof systems, which is what you see right here. Um, examples of all this. And these are resume items that students can take with them when they go to job interviews. I created this part. Uh, I created this model first making a drawing of it, but then doing a 3D print of it. Um, another thing here, this is an assembly that we created. All this, all these different pieces are made out of different materials. How much time do I have, Andy? We've got about one more minute right now. So we made these materials, but this printer actually, this is a working, uh, a working threaded part that is, that's assembled. You can see there. Made out of all different kinds of materials. The last thing I wanted to show us some are some cool things that we're doing here is we do these laser cut uh, models from the architectural um, from architectural things. This is the roof; it's, it comes off. You can see the shingles that's on there. I hope you can see shingles. So this thing comes out of the house. There's the second floor. These are all glued together, and then this is the main floor. Uh, you can see that this has. The, the shingles, the siding, but then it has the three printed parts that are inside uh, the kitchen and the tables and stuff. And this is another model that, uh, that the students can take with them, 3D printed uh, steps. So this, we're doing some really cool things in this program to keep it lively, to keep it modern, and get this stuff accomplished. Questions? Does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask before we before we sign off? So one thing to keep in mind, guys, as you are you know looking at enhancing your education while you're in high school, I would ask that you keep our CAD program in mind. Um, it is an unbelievable program. You're going to walk away with a, a an incredible education, and Rex has really good employer relationships, so he can help you even find careers upon finishing the program. So again, thanks Rex so much for joining us today. Students, thanks a lot for hanging out with us to learn about CAD. Our next session is going to be about how to get started at the Tech College and I will join you there. Thanks Rex.